What's going on, bearded gents, bearded lovers, bearded babies, ladies, cats, dogs, lizards, your mother's boyfriend's girlfriend's mother? I don't know. Anyways, it's Main Life, aka the Bearded Mandalorian, uh, and we are here to do Beard Mail Monday on a Tuesday, because uh, we skipped yesterday for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I don't really have a good excuse. We just did. Quick shout out to my man Sean over at uh, Graham's Beard Care. Right now rocking the uh, cedar and leather cologne scented uh, beard oil called Wolfane. Absolutely in love with this stuff. Go check it out. Go pick it up. Um, but we are doing beard mail on a Tuesday. And uh, let's get this shit started. Things first. Let's get into some beard mail uh, fan mail. Uh, huge shout out to Jillian for buying me the uh, old... Uh, uh, Madman uh, Gifts, Gadgets, and Gears for Guys. This is a Switchblade beard comb. Uh, seen this over, I don't know, some store in, in the mall the other day. And uh, she picked it up for the old beard. And uh, we're going to pop this open real quick. Look, look how pretty that is. And, and get a little thing going here on that. And this is by Madman. And this is their, their grooming kit. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, Switchblade beard comb. I used it yesterday, actually, so I cheated. But check this out. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, just kidding. Nice and smooth all through there. Uh, really, really cool stainless steel uh, blade on there. Um, really enjoy it. Kick ass, kick ass. This is, again, by uh, Mad Man, and it's their Gifts for Men, and this is their Switchblade Beard Comb. Came in a nice little container. We will be using that uh, and scaring some people, making them think I have a Switchblade. I don't know why people would be scared of that. But anyways, big shout out to uh, the fan mail. Let's hit this next. All right, here we go. Uh, jumping into the beard mail, uh, beard product mail, I should say. This is this package is from uh, Blue Eyed Bigfoot. If you don't know, Blue Eyed Bigfoot has subscription boxes for $9.99. That includes the shipping anywhere in the United States. Um, and you get a free oil every single month for $9.99. I signed up a couple months ago uh, and uh, get ready to do his review. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, but... Uh, this is uh, the October scent, or no, sorry, this is the November scent, um, and I believe it's called the Lumberjack. Um, it already smells amazing. It smells like the outdoors. And this is called the Lumberjack, Blue Eyed Bigfoot, the Lumberjack. Great subscription box. Um, absolutely uh, thrilled and satisfied with Blue Eyed Bigfoot. That is an amazing smelling beard oil. Um, what is in this? Okay, it is the Lumberjack. I will, when I do the review on this subscription box towards here the end of the year, um, I'm going to tell you everything that's in these, these oils that he'll let me know. But this smells like there's some a fir or pine in there, maybe some cedar or sandalwood. Man, that smells freaking amazing. Uh, this is the uh, Blue Eyed Bigfoot subscription box, one oil a month, one ounce, one, one ounce oil a month for $9.99, includes shipping. Go check them out. The other day, I don't know if you've seen my video, but I was rocking his apple pie scent and his coffee shop scent and uh, half and half together, and it smelled open fantastic. It smelled like a Thanksgiving house at my grandparents uh, when I was a kid growing up. Coffee, apple pie, uh, all, I, all I was missing was some turkey and some ham. So... Great, great stuff. Really worth the money. Blue Eyed Bigfoot, $9.99. Subscription box includes shipping. Go check them out. All right, guys. Next up is Voodoo Men's Craft. This is a package he sent me. Um, actually, I bought this stuff. Um, you know me. I slept on Voodoo Men's Craft for a long, long time. Um, and I don't know why. I just don't have a reason. Uh, but I have fallen in love with almost everything he does. Uh, went on his website the other day. He had a sale going on and picked me up two things. Um, not that I need more beard uh, product, but come on, you can never have enough, right? So two scents that I was really looking at for him for a while. Uh, the first one, it, it, I already have it in the butter, but I wanted an oil to match, and that was the Untamed. So I already have this in the butter. Um, he actually sent me the butter to review, uh, and, and we're getting ready to pop that video up. He just made, uh, I believe he made my top butter list. So he's got great product over there, but we're going to get him his own little review going. Um, but this is Voodoo Men's Craft's Untamed Oil. Like I said, I already had the butter, so I went ahead and bought the oil to match. And then um, I've, been, I've been hearing great things about this next scent from Voodoo. Uh, I know this is, I believe this is a collab with someone. Let's see if I can find it. 
Um, maybe it's not. Anyways, I've heard tons of great things about the scent, tons of great things about uh, uh, how it feels and wears in your beard, beard as a smell or a scent. So I went and picked up the butter, and it's the, uh, the Loco Butter. Um, it's the Loco. And we're going to open both these up. Untamed, you guys already know. This is this, there's, uh, is this the smoky scent? I'm trying to think what's in here. I believe, I believe this is like, their smoky scent. Does it say? Uh, no, it doesn't. So, anyways, I have it in the butter. It smells absolutely amazing. So, we're going to open up the Loco. I don't have that at all. This is the first time you're ever smelling, looking, feeling, anything like that. Same kind of whipped butter texture. I'm already sm Wow. Nice sweet scent. Not too sweet, not too overpowering. Almost like a, a sweet fruity scent. Um, I don't know what else is in there. Anyways, great, great, great smell. Um, like I said, his butters are already fantastic. I already had the Untamed, so I already know how good they are. Um, and we're going to get a whole product line review for, for Voodoo because my collection for Voodoo Men's Craft is just out of this world. Um, so this is the Loco. Nice, fruity, uh, sweet scent to it. Absolutely like it. Um, happy with those two purchases. Next up on Beard Mail on a uh, Monday, on a Tuesday, is uh, my man Texas Beardsman sent me over a package. Uh, I think it was last week or the week before. Um, this, some of this Beard Mail has been sitting here a minute. Um, and he sent me over a package of some stuff he wanted me to try out. Uh, as you guys know, I am an affiliate with um, uh, Texas Beardsman. Uh, really, really enjoy his stuff. Really, really love it. Um, so uh, he sent me over some stuff to try. We're going to pop this open. I believe it's two oils, and it is. Um, I am absolutely in love, in love with Texas Beardsman, and I'm going to mess up the scent. The scent profile is uh, a watermelon and I think smoky scent. Uh, I think it's called Seven Ace. I, I, anyways, I have it in my bathroom. I'm almost out of it. It is flipping fantastic. That's how I got introduced to Texas Beardsman, and I've been hooked ever since. So it's his watermelon scent. Absolutely love it. Um, I believe he said when I asked him about it, it was inspired by the song uh, uh, Watermelon Crawl, which is a country song. Uh, but anyways, absolutely love that scent. He sent me over two more uh, Redwood Falls. And then, what's this other one? The other one is called The Fugitive. Fugitive, all right? So Redwood Falls, uh, let's see. This has frankincense, hints of floral wood oils, cinnamon oil, clove oil, uh so we're gonna pop that open and then we have the uh the fugitive which is a uh, sandalwood oil frankincense oil and amber oil okay let's pop open the the fugitive first Ooh. lovely woodsy scent wow if the movie u.s marshall could be put in a, a beard oil because in that movie, you know how they're 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 chasing a fugitive. And you go through the, you go through the woods, you go through a city, all this stuff. Actually, I take that back. Wasn't there a movie with a? Uh, oh man, there was a movie about a U.S. marshal chasing down. Oh man, what's his name? It'll come to me in a second. Anyways, this is exactly what you think this would smell like. It, it smells like that movie. If that movie. It's called The Fugitive. If, that, if the movie The Fugitive could be put into a beard oil, it would be The Fugitive by Texas Beardsman. Uh, you, you, get, you get the sense that you're running through a nice little forest and woods. Uh, so absolutely love, 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 love. Wow, that is a good scent. i got to smell it again. That's a nice scent. That's a nice, manly, uh, earthy, foresty scent. Um, wow. What is it? Frankincense, sandalwood, and amber oil. Absolutely lovely. Really, really manly on that one. Next one up is the uh, Redwood Falls. Uh, and This is, again, the uh, frankincense, clove, cinnamon, and hints of floral and wood oils. Bro. That cinnamon pops, bro. That cinnamon pops something nice. Absolutely love it. Smell again. I, I, if I didn't have wolf in my beard already, I would definitely put redwood falls in. That cinnamon, you smell woods, you smell some wood scents in there, you smell the frankincense, um, but that cinnamon just pops. 
uh, with that clove. So absolutely love uh, Redwood Falls. If you, seriously, if you have not checked out Texas Beardman, get over there, check it out. Do not sleep on this company. Um, absolutely love this stuff. I'll post below what the watermelon scent is called. Um, but anyways, absolutely love everything I've had from Texas Beardman. Redwood Falls and The Fugitive, both really, really good. This is a package that came to me back during COVID. Um, we have been uh, uh, trying to catch up on COVID packages. I actually just realized that I missed one um, today, actually. Uh, somehow it got put into fan mail, and it was actually someone, uh, a company that sent me mail to do a review. So huge apologies to that company. Uh, he already knows who he is. We are in the process of making that right. Uh, but this is a company that sent me along with a bunch of other companies during COVID, um, and it is Beards and Beavers. Uh, the review is actually going to feature a female, uh, but right now we're just going to do the unboxing real quick. Oh, stop trying to drop it. Uh, Beers and Beavers sent me this package a long, uh, long time ago during COVID. I think it was back in April or May, um, and, and, and we have been playing catch up with COVID stuff ever since. So let's get to going on Beers and Beavers. Now, he hooked me up, which makes me feel even worse. Uh, wow. What else is there? And then there's a little cord. All right, here we go. Uh, Beards and Beavers. Beards and Beavers. Adam, thank you for uh, reaching out on IG. Hope you and your wife enjoy our beard oils. Looking forward to your review. Stay safe. Thank you, Laura. Laura, it's been a long time coming, but we will get this in before the end of the year. Uh, this is Beards and Beavers. Um, they sent me over a nice brush uh, that um, I have a ton of brushes like this so this may be featured in a giveaway um absolutely uh beers and beavers nice nice soft brush chew actually maybe i'll just keep this one i don't know anyways beers and beavers sent me over the brush and two oils uh, nice clean packaging for their boxes absolutely love that i love the black and white it reminds me of defined beard coast stuff which is a nice simple black and white uh label but let's pop this open this first one their first beard oil Let's see. This is called the Toasted Vanilla. The Toasted Vanilla. Real clean amber bottle with a nice black label on it. Uh, real clean looking packaging. Real nice packaging. So this is a divine combination of toasted sugar and honey with a soft undertone of musk and uh, buttery vanilla. If you could put sex appeal in, into a beard oil, uh, it was right there. The toasted Vanilla. I don't think anyone's ever described their... their uh, their scent profile that that sexy before Ooh, that is a nice light scented masculine sweet smell you smell the vanilla what else is in there i smell the vanilla i smell the honey for sure what's that other one that must be yeah the musk Man, that is a lovely smelling, masculine, sweet beard oil um, from Beards and Beavers. This is the Toasted Vanilla. Um, man, I'm going to smell that again. So you, uh, right off the bat, you, you get hit with the honey and the vanilla. And then you just got this nice undertone of musk. And that must be what it is. Just a nice soft, it is a nice soft undertone of musk. It's not overpowering. It's really light scented. Uh, you, it could be considered a light scented cologne oil, but it's just it's just a very masculine, sweet smelling scent, um, and not overpowering at all. So that is the toast of vanilla. That is amazing. Wow. All right. This next one is the uh, tobacco uh, marchino, and this is a luscious blend of lightly toasted tobacco leaf paired with a sweet and rich cherry aroma. Now you guys know me, I'm not huge in the cherry scents. There's only been like two that I enjoy. So let's pop this one open and see if it's gonna be one of them. Uh, I'm just not a huge cherry scented guy. Uh, so far, uh, the, what is it called? Uh, oh man, I'm blanking. Dancing Goat Farms and her cherry scent is, is one of the top ones that I like. Uh, it's, it's rare for me to like a cherry scent. So let's try this. A little bit more. I'm going to be honest. I 
You smell the cherry. I'm not going to lie about that. But the cherry is like a slight, it's just an undertone. You really smell that, that, that tobacco coming through with just a light cherry on top of it. It, it smells amazing. It reminds me of a, it reminds me of Sinatra by Boston Beer Company. Uh, except in Boston Beer Company Sinatra, I think it's strawberry and not cherry. But the same thing. You just you get the tobacco up front, and then you get a light, uh, a very light uh, cherry scent. And it's not overpowering, which makes me like it. I mean, I just absolutely like that scent. This is tobacco marchino, marchino and, and the cherry is just a light undertone. You don't smell the, you don't, oh, it's not an overwhelming cherry scent. It really is just a tobacco scent with a nice cherry undertone. So both of those were amazing. The brush looks fantastic. Can't wait to review this. All this stuff uh, it, it has to be pushed out by the end of the year on reviews. I want to get the year closed out right. COVID really screwed us up in the, in the beginning. Uh, so we're going to get all this stuff pu punched out right. That was Beards and Beavers. All right, guys, that is bear, Beard, Beard, Beard Mail Monday on a Tuesday. Um, had some great stuff from, again, uh, Beards and Beavers, uh, Voodoo Men's Craft, uh, what was this, Madman, uh, uh, Blue Eyed Bigfoot, and Texas Beardsman. If you haven't checked out these companies, go and check them out. Um, uh, most of these were repeat companies for me, but the new one on the block was Beards and Beavers. If you have not checked out Beards and Beavers, get over there, check them out. Um, those two scents, the tobacco marshini and the, uh, what was the other one called? The, uh, toasted vanilla were absolutely amazing scents. Um, cannot wait to put them in the beard, give them a little try, but those scent profiles right off the bat, first impressions absolutely blew me away. Um, I think I just found another cherry scent that I like. This may be the second or third at this point. Um, there's not a lot of cherry scents that I enjoy, but this maraschino and tobacco is amazing because, again, the cherry is just an undertone. So, new kid on the block is Beards and Beavers. Go check them out. You guys already know I'm, I'm fucking hard with Voodoo Men's Craft, Texas Beards Man, Blue Eyed Bigfoot, and the rest of them. All right, guys, you know me. Until next time, keep it bearded.